Hi, I'm Andy Rizico. And I'm Erica Ussery. And welcome to The, the Daily, Daily Mix. Mix. What a great week. <laughs> yes. Today was awesome. The weather was like 69 degrees. And I, I loved it, and I was in bed sleeping the whole day. So oh, You missed out, Andy. How did you <laughs> miss this beautiful day? Oh, my gosh. Well, I've been waiting all winter for this weather, so I definitely was outside all day. There you go. <laughs> well, we've got a big show to get to. Let's, yes. You know, movies are my passion, and a, a, something coming up pretty soon. A new sequel has been announced, Zoolander. Yes, pretty excited about that. It's hard to believe that the original came out back in 2001, so it's been about 14 years. So it's long overdue. Um, but Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson said that this new movie will come out February 12th of next year, so it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. and I hope they bring back Will Ferrell's character, because yes. he sold the movie, that whole <laughs> derelict thing he did in it. Love that movie so much. It is yes. honestly one of my favorite comedy movies. Well, according to Still Stiller, um, they went to, they announced this in Paris um, at Paris Fashion Week, so he did mention that Will Ferrell was going to be in it, so. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you got your wish. All right, all right. So let's check out this this video, our viral long year-long uh, engagement proposal that this uh, guy did. It's crazy, right? It's, it's big across the web. Everybody's talking about it. This guy, Propose every day for 365 days um, on camera, or, or uh, taped himself doing it, and then eventually proposed to his, his girlfriend. So it's pretty interesting. My vote is that this thing is creepy. Okay, if I was his girl, I'll be honest with you, I probably would have said no. <laughs> I thought it was I pretty it. sweet. It was a long video, but overall, I think it was really good. And towards the end, the song that he played, it makes you want to kind of tear up a little bit. But it, it's look at it. It's it's like 365 <laughs> days of selfies. Look at me. I'm so pretty. I'm doing my hair. Will you marry me? I don't think she took it that way. <laughs> I, you know, I probably would have thought twice if somebody brought this video to me. But he's got so many hits on this video, so the pressure is on for single guys. Andy, take note. I don't These know. These girls are going to be looking for a big proposal. So. I guarantee you this. I could make a better video, and if someone out there, one of our, our viewers, wants to come up with a video, let's make this thing viral, St. Louis. <laughs> let's take this thing and, and let's outdo this guy, because we can't. It's just it's, it's a sign, and most for the most part, the sign says the same thing for a year. Like, well, he's proposing every day, so of course it's going to say the same thing. <laughs> but, it, but it was really cute. He danced a little bit. He brushed his teeth, shaved. It I don't just, know. It, it just feels cute. like it's more about him. Like, look at me. I'm a cute guy. Well, look, the pressure's look, 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 look. on, and Andy's saying that he can top it, so girls, top. listen and take note. <laughs> but that leads us into our next uh, piece of material here. So uh, the Events and Adventures group have given a little bit of data and advice for people who are out there single. The first one is do it in a group setting. Uh, a lot of times conversations go a little bit better when you have multiple people, right? It's not that awkward silence or, oh, what am I going to say type situation, so. But the hardest time. part about that is, let's just say, you know, you're in a big group setting, all singles, and then the girl that you want to talk to, like being talked to by, somebody you know, else. by somebody else, what do you do? Well, then it's not meant to be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the next piece of advice is just to relax and have fun. Dating should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful. Just enjoy yourself and be yourself, right? I'll, I'll agree with that, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Have you been doing that on your, well, you, you, date online so how does that work Do you, it, it, are you yourself over the computer yeah you, yeah i'm me are you I, like I try a not professional to... something or a famous <laughs> no, something you don't, you don't lie that's the biggest part is if you lie then then you're out out of the, out of the game from the get-go right that's true Okay. And the next piece of advice is do something interesting to meet interesting people. So the saying goes, if you the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. So if you want to find somebody that's interesting and, and different than you, go to different places. Go somewhere that you're not used to going and experience different stuff and meet new people. That's right, but don't try and meet people at like a skydiving event if you don't like skydiving. <laughs> then you're just like stuck. Well, they say opposites attract, so that may actually work for some people. They also say birds of a feather flock together, That's so true. right. Touche. <laughs> but our last piece of advice is FORM, which is an acronym for Family Occupation Recreation and Membership. And according to this group, they, they're seeing that if you ask questions in these four categories, then you, you're more likely to have a, a better conversation or a, a better icebreaker, I guess, when you're dating. So family asks questions about like, you know, do you have any brothers? your sisters, any kids, or any, you know, nieces or nephews and things like that. So and get if, to know people better. And if you fail all four questions, you're just destined to be single. <laughs> well, that's why it's important to ask those four questions because if they don't have an occupation or, I don't know, kids that they don't know about, then you probably shouldn't date them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, let's get to today, today's daily mix. All the other stuff, let's get down to business. Kind of went on a tangent there. Yeah. <laughs> but we've been talking about dating, so here's a, 
a cool dating idea. Casa Loma is having an event this Friday called Special Friday uh, Night Swing with Robbie and the Rockin' Fools. So it's pretty cool. It's The doors open at 7.30. They give dance lessons between 8 and 8.30. So there's no excuse. Get out those dancing shoes. Get on some comfortable clothes. You're going to learn how to two-step or swing dance, it's, it's whatever. It's the Lindy Hop. They teach you the Lindy Hop. And, and it basically, it's worth the price of admission. And it's gone before. So. I have. Yeah. It's a terrific night. It's really fun, especially if you're going to take a date, which I've taken two different girls there, I'll be honest. And how'd that go? I'm still single, so let's just move on. No. Well, it's open. It's going to be open this Friday, so you can take another date. One of them wasn't my fault, though. When I showed up to pick her up, another guy was leaving. So, uh, you know. Well, they'll be dancing to two-step until 12 in the morning. If you need more information, go to www.casalumbaballroom.com. I guarantee you, you can learn the Lindy Hop. It, it is a lot of fun, and it's one of those things in St. Louis not a lot of people know about, yeah. so it's a perfect deal. I'll vouch for that. Cool. But uh, go also going on around St. Louis, uh, working around St. Louis, uh, Fortune has released their 2015 list of best companies to work for, and three of ours came in one of the top 100. It's exciting. So, uh, in the coming in number six place was Edward Jones. Thumbs up. Down a little bit because they were up, I think, at number four last year. So, oh, but they're still in the top ten. Not doing bad, bit, Edward Jones. Not bad at all. all right. Well, Worldwide Technology Inc. came in at 28, and Build a Bear Workshop came in at 59. That's pretty cool. And another cool thing to point out is Twitter also made the list. And the co-founder of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, is a St. Louis native. So that's pretty cool. Up on the technology. Way to go, St. Louis. Yes. Doing some big things. I also understand the guy that did four squares also from St. Louis. Wow. So, yeah. We got some cool people here. Definitely. Yeah. And we're going to meet one of the cool people or three of the ladies who created a cool, cool new business. It's called Popportunities Gourmet Popcorn. Um, and we're going to look at the teas really quick. They are making awesome popcorn. That, that looks delicious. Look at that popcorn, isn't it so good? Or I can't so wait to, to, hopefully they bring some of that later on yes. after the mix. I hope so. so. I'm hungry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and another thing to know is Cinderella Live Action 2015 is coming out this Friday. Um, let's take a look at the clip. I thought breakfast was ready. Oh, it is, madam. I'm only mending the fire. Oh, future, could we not be called until the work is done? As you wish. Ella, what's that on your face? Madam? It's ash from the fireplace. Do clean yourself up. You'll get cinders in our tea. I've got a new name for her. Cinder Wench. to look so dirty. Oh, oh, dirty Ella. <laughs> Cinderella. That's what we'll call you. Oh, girls, you're too clever. <laughs> Who's this for? Is there someone we've forgotten? It's my place. Oh, it seems too much to expect you to prepare breakfast, serve it, and still sit with us. Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Ella? Or should I say Cinderella? Hmm. I cannot wait to see that movie. Cinderella is one of my favorite movies of all time. I actually like, they did a live in version of uh, Brandy did one, and I absolutely love that one, and I still sing the song to this day. Usually I sing it when I'm cleaning up and I feel like nobody's <laughs> helping me. I feel like Cinderella, but. <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella. Yes. <laughs> Get the mopping. <laughs> it actually looks pretty neat, and the acting looks really good based on what I've seen there. But, um, you know, I, I really do like these live action um, bringing the fairy tale to life. They right. do a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, they had like Maleficent came out. Right. They had a, a Snow White one that came out with, uh, who's? Two years ago. Uh, I think it was Kristen Chris, Dunst. Kristen uh, Dunst, yes. Um, yeah. So the, it's really interesting. I like how they take a different take to it. Mm -hmm. And it makes it interesting. And an actor, I'm hoping that one of these days I get to play like with Prince or something. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. cool. And I, I thought it was pretty interesting, too, on the new film that's coming out, um, they said that Cinderella got her name from her stepsisters, <laughs> which I thought Cinderella in the original movie, if I'm not mistaken, her name was always Cinderella. But in the new movie, her name's Ella, and then they have the, she had the cinders in her face, and oh. so they nicknamed her Cinderella. Yeah, we're going to have to check it out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Well, downtown St. Louis, uh, we've been noticing there's lots of uh, people around mm -hmm. wearing, wearing jackets and, and head, uh, head things, or <laughs> helmets. I don't know little, why I can't think of that. Yeah, with like little microphones and yeah. little iPods. And well, stuff. who they are are the downtown uh, community Deve improvement district mm -hmm. people. And it's a really neat new service that we're doing. 
And I think it's a much needed, especially with all the construction going on. Yes. Uh, so what they do is they will help you find different things around downtown, like dinner, mm -hmm. uh, shopping, or directions. Yeah, and they'll also help you or escort you to your car, which I thought was pretty cool. Because I used to work downtown, and sometimes I used to get off late. It used to be kind of creepy to walk by myself, so it would have been nice to call CID up and say, hey, I need, a, I need somebody to walk into my car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak out. It's a great service. Like I said, there's, there's with the arch improvement going on, there's a few areas where there's construction, things like that, so it's a big help that they're out there with bikes, and I saw some guys with, with those little, what you call them things, I don't even the know. The mopeds? The moped yes. things. They were out there, and they were they're driving along and showing people where to go and yeah. where to tour. So if you're from, if you're not from St. Louis, you're just visiting, or if you're like me and been here your whole life and just get lost when you go downtown in certain areas, they are definitely a good group to call up for help. <laughs> and then you can find out more information about them at www.downtownscl.org. That or you should get one of those GPS things. You know, those are brand new technology. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess. Okay. This comes from the guy that doesn't even have an Instagram or Twitter. I'm moving up in the world. Yeah. I, I still, I've got an iPod, so. Do you? Yeah. Do you, you still have your flip phone though, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Well, Rally STL uh, or Rally St. Louis is a great group that's doing a lot of good things in St. Louis. Um, they, in 2014, came out with this cool thing called hashtag RSTL. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of bad things going on in St. Louis with the whole Mike Brown situation, and we've gotten a lot of negative media play nationally and worldwide. So um, it's great that this organization is taking initiative to highlight the positive things in St. Louis. So they're encouraging people to take pictures. Um, if you're doing something cool and positive around the area, hashtag RSTL. And then, you know, that'll kind of shed, shed some positive light on the city and kind of, I don't know, help us heal and move forward. We do. Right? It seems like in St. Louis, we're always trying to validate ourselves as a city. I don't know. This this rally St. Louis started after uh, the, the, the penned newspaper report that somebody wrote that said St. Louis doesn't suck. It went viral, people reading it. Yeah. And even when Mayor Slay had written uh, a piece when the Cardinals were in the World Series, because mm -hmm. we were getting downed by national media, oh, the Cardinals are in it again, the most hated baseball people, but whatever. You know, we are always, it's, it's good that they're out there to help us kind of get over that mm -hmm. and make, you know, we are a good city. We, yeah, are, we are a good city, and there's a lot of good stuff going on here, and it gives yeah. us a chance to shine. I actually had some friends that came in shortly after the whole Mike Brown thing from Atlanta, and they hadn't been here in a while, and they were just really shocked at how positive it is yeah. here and how nice it is versus what they were seeing on the news. So I was, you know, on social media saying, St. Louis, you know, don't believe everything you see on the news. Is They're trying to make us look bad, but... <laughs> Their other initiative is Restore Washington Avenue Ghost Signs, and that's the idea that, that somebody's come up with. Yes, so they're looking for ideas, so not only hashtag the RSEL, they're also looking for you to submit ideas uh, to help St. Louis uh, get better, and you can submit them at rallyscl.org. That's right. The ghost Signs, uh, I hope they, they do a good job. I hope they don't confuse people though. I don't want to go see people go to like the, the garment <laughs> district and it's not there anymore. I would like to think that our city is intelligent enough to <laughs> revamp the ghost signs and then still let you know what the building is actually for. <laughs> Again, submit your ideas at rallystl.org. Yes. Right there on your screen. <laughs> Hashtag R St. Louis if you're on Twitter. And coming up right after this, we're at DeAnthony Moore, HD fitness owner and personal trainer is coming up after the mix. We'll be talking to him pretty soon. I'm excited about that because I have not been in the gym. <laughs> I have started off the new year good, but I need some tips from him. So definitely excited that he's going to join us. Well, we're almost done here. But be sure to check us out 24-7 on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and Instagram. And drop us a line at thedailymix at stltv.net. We want to hear from you. Tune in again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. when Sunita Wells brings you the latest in the loop. Until until then, uh, we'll see you back on the Daily Mix next Wednesday. <laughs> After the Mix is next, we'll see you next week. See ya.